Hey everybody, welcome back to Kali Conversation with me, Rick. And me, Nain. And today we got a special treat. We decided that we were going to show you the gym that you only see the downstairs of when, <laughs> when we're doing his shorts. So we're going to walk around here today. We're going to talk to all the different people. Yes. We're going to be talking to the, the boxing coach, the weightlifting coach. And the owner. Yep. Jim, Jim, Jim Smith. Jim. Jim, Jim Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> Jim Smith is the weightlifting coach. Jim hey. Wilson. You know, there's so many the people here. here. They're all here. <laughs> Also, we're going to be talking with the front desk lady. She's a she's a hoot. She has all the information you need about classes, about times, and anything else that you well, the first person you see when you come in to Physique Magnifique, and she's a wonderful human being, just like everyone else that you're about to see and talk to. Her. So, just, just some background, folks. We've been here for at least what eight, eight years? years. Eight and years uh, teaching Filipino martial arts right here at the gym. There's a phone. <laughs> Oh well, this is an open gym it's and people are working out. Like, hey, somebody answer your phone. Somebody's mom is calling. Um, but yeah, we've been here for eight years and, and I tell you, there's no other place we've gotten. No, no, no. The, the family atmosphere that you get from all the people that are here, all the uh, clients are more than willing to help oh. anybody. I yeah, remember when we first trainers. got here, they're like, oh no, you're doing that wrong, do this, right? There, there is they have no problem just letting people know that hey, this is how I can help you reach your goals better. Even though you were just working out on your own, yeah. and very polite, very kind in the way that they approach you. Again, just a family atmosphere. My daughters pretty much grew up in this area, so it's a great place to be. Hey, do you remember the hours of the gym? Oh, uh, <laughs> they keep changing. No, no they change. No, they're back to the regular time. Is it? It's uh, 5 a.m. to 8, Monday through Friday. There you go. And then on Saturdays, it is 9 a.m. to 5, 5 p.m. Yeah, yeah. And on Sundays, it's 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Woohoo! <laughs> Mission should have come. Yes! I wasn't yeah. sure if he was going to no, remember Because I know I forgot all of it. <laughs> <laughs> I had no clue. <laughs> Here I'm thinking I got them right because they say, yeah, yeah, that's correct, that's correct. We we believe those are the, the hours of it. I'm but sorry, double check on the on the website and come visit us here at 387 Grand Avenue. So let's take a look inside. So follow us, we're going to be talking to some people right now. Some we'll cool people. First. Fernando Solis. Fernando Solis, the boxing, boxing guy. guy. <laughs> Alright, so follow us. Dude. Oh, they're using it? I like it. Hey, there he is. There's the guy we're looking for. Hey, Fernando. Hey, folks. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You guys remember That's Fernando it, Solis from uh, one of our, well, Danny, a couple of, of our room? episodes, yeah. right? Um, we just thought we'd come in and really bug the hell Disrupt out of Disrupt his class completely. <laughs> so Fernando, what do you do here? We know you teach boxing, but... I teach what do you boxing guys? and I'm a housekeeper. Yes. And you have a class going on right now? Yeah, they're finishing now. Thank you for allowing us to just intrude yeah. on your stuff, you know. Um, so when, it, when, when a, a new person comes into the gym and says, Hey, I want to learn boxing. They obviously they have referred to you. What are the first things you talk to them about? Uh, discipline. Discipline. How bad do you want it? Oh, really? Not, oh, what skills do you have or here's what we're going to do. It's all about... I, I'm very greedy with my time. Okay. And if people want to come in and train, 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 well, then it's going to happen. It's not so much of an exercise. It's not so much here. Then you try this. It's, it's you want to box or not. Um, and it's, uh, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. But at the same time, when you're trying to create a culture, or you're trying to create an atmosphere. Yeah. you got to be greedy. Almost greedy on who you let in, you know. So you, you want them to know that straight up you're serious, and if you're just going to be here to pull around and all that. It's not a day, it's not a daycare, it's not a place for fun, it's not a place, it's a place to come train. It's a place to come get better at what you do. What is the first thing that you teach uh, right off the bat? I mean, I mean, I'm sure you don't just do anything to just say, oh, here, we're going to do punching all day long. But what, what is the first thing that, that you come up with? Uh, we try to create a reference point 
which if they had no boxing background, we'll give them a medicine ball exercise. So, or we'll give them a kettlebell exercise, we'll give them a body weight exercise. So that way we use that to warm up the body, we kind of teach them the movements. And then when we get to the boxing aspect, we have something referred to. Throw this punch as if you threw that ball. Squeeze as if you lifted that weight or whatever you did for the warm up. So we teach them a reference point. Huh. We teach them how to be, where to be in space. Right. And then we teach them the shadow boxing, the movement. And then we put it play on a bag in different So they don't get to learn the box right away. I mean, I mean, obviously that's all. You play. know what, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, first thing is you gotta understand the movement because if they don't understand the movement, they're not gonna understand the boxing. Right. So you gotta give them a reference point. Second, you gotta give them a little sweaty because that's what they came for. <laughs> you know, you gotta yeah, give them yeah, a little yeah. bit. You can't be a dork on the first date, right? Yeah, you gotta yeah. give them a little bit of what they want. Make them a little sore. Or maybe make them laugh a little bit. Right. So it's not your traditional, you're gonna keep your hands up and you're gonna do this repetition 10,000 times until you become a right. master. Follow me. You're not gonna get that many clients and right. they're not gonna stick with you in this day and age. Back right. then, that was great. Today, kids don't have that attention span. So the culture has changed. Culture has changed big time, and it's either I believe either you have to let it move with it, or you're gonna get left behind and be that janitor. You know, because I am a housekeeper, right? That's I'm serious. But, no, there you go. <laughs> but because of boxing, I have an opportunity to do my art. Right. And I don't think if people adapt to the times, they're gonna continue to do their art. Because oh, back in the 2000s, they used to. They didn't have 10 hour jobs. They right. didn't have to work six days a week. They don't have the lifestyle we do. So I kind of cater our lifestyle today in my environment. I adapt my box into our lifestyle to what we have. So you need to get more, more bang for your buck. I mean, you a, traditional, a traditional boxing session should take about two to three hours. Right. People don't have time for that nowadays. Right. You gotta get your stretching, you gotta get your strength, you gotta get your strength, you gotta get all that. Then you gotta learn your art. Wow. Today, what I do is instead of grabbing a three hour workout, I put it in a one hour workout where you get 10 minutes of stretching, you know, 10 minutes of mobility movement, 10 minutes of boxing. And then if you're going to get really serious, we run across that path. Now we get you into the boxing program, but we, we try to cater it to baseball players, to football players to do this. So that way it's cross training. You learn how to move, you learn how to fight. That'll benefit you in your sport, you know, without being angry. <laughs> Bro, right? Right. Control. Right. Control. Yeah. Control. You know, this is the aspect, you know, and that's why we wanted to come here. You know? Folks, you, know, you got to understand, today we're going to walk around the gym. Uh, we're going to talk to that's all the different uh, programs that they have here. Uh, of course, we, we wanted to get with um, Fernando here because he has been on it for a couple of times. But he's also elusive because, you know, we see him in the morning. Hey, Fernando, where'd he go? And then forever, yeah. So yeah. we had to lock him down. Wallet. Then we find his wallet. <laughs> But this, uh, folks, if you want to try this out, come down to uh, Solus Boxing. Uh, this guy's incredible here at the Physique Magnifique. What's the address? 387 Grand Avenue. Ah, you got it right, by the way. Dude, it took me like two <laughs> years, and I've been coming here for like six. People still watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. Well, hey, thank you oh, for thank you. Appreciate that. That's awesome. So we're gonna move on to the next show, folks. A little bit. Oh, Fernando was always going to talk to you. Who else? Who is this? Who else we got here? Oh, another great guy. Uh, guy by the name of Jim Schmidt. Nah, uh, Jim Schmidt. If folks you don't know, he's an Olympic trainer, right? Olympic weightlifting trainers. Wow, since way back, I think the dinosaurs were around. I'm not yeah, dinosaurs that. definitely. Oh, since the Olympics <laughs> were created. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Back in Greece. <laughs> but he has been the uh, coach for the U.S. Olympic weightlifting team uh, at least twice, if not yeah. more, and he's just a legend in a the legend. field. And this is the dungeon where he plays at. So, so let's go. Yeah. Hey there. He's got the chunk. He's got the chunk. Watch out. I found out there's a secret that he's gummy bears. They use gummy bears. Hey, uh, pan the camera over here and see what these guys are doing. So that the, the young man there with the hat, baseball cap, is actually He's a... Uh, you can not tell that he's 150. Hey there, Coach Schmidt. Can we uh, get you over here for a quick second? I just want to ask some 
some really cool questions about you. We, we've heard so many great things about you, and we say so many great things about you, but we want to make sure that they're real. <laughs> um, so you've been here how long in this gym? 20, 19 years. 19, 19 years. years. Wow, wow, that's a long time. I've been thrown out of better places. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let me face you to the camera because you want to get on the other side of it. Just in case he tries to get screwed No, no, no. Right. He's, 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 oh, we'll set him up. Um, he does his own thing. What, all what time. is the first thing when, when the new client comes in? What do you yeah. say to them? Well, well, I think I'm doing an evaluation workout. Normal month. Oh, really? Out, and just with an empty bar. Check their mobility and from their experience. Evaluation. I never believe anybody when they tell me what they lift. I used to, and they never always exaggerate. Ah. Yeah, I do the same thing. Is it the guys? No, everybody. 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 As you can tell, folks, we're actually in a live session today, so yeah, we're, we're interrupting his class. Yeah, like so everyone else. That's <laughs> what we do. That's what we do. We just we're actually, we've actually been trying to get him on the show, so uh, this, is, this is the best we can do for now. Yeah, for now, because <laughs> he has a lot of wild stories. So tell me, um, you when was the first time you did the Olympics? Because I know you're uh, 1976. 1976. Dinosaurs are around that time, right? <laughs> uh, well, uh, the Dead Sea was just sick. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! No, he's very vigilant in what he does. We watched him train hey, uh, so many people. Get over here, Come back and take the fire. Come on. Back So it's, it's not just that they can do. What other things do you look for when they're doing their techniques? Well, that they have flexibility. Okay. No, I never thought that that was important in women. So I think it's correct. Yeah. 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 If you don't have balance, you're falling your butt. Like he did just a moment ago. <laughs> we didn't catch that one. Yeah. So balance is very, very important. Oh, wow. What, what, what's it take to be an Olympian? Well, it's the same thing in any sport. You have to be in a chess Really? Do we have any? No. He's honest. <laughs> we won't tell them. Won't. <laughs> right. She's looking for your for your uh, approval. There you go. How was that? Is that a good lift? So have, have you? How did you do in the Olympics? Yeah. Well, I had one lifter who got a silver medal in 1984, Mario Martinez. Uh, yeah, I remember yeah. that. Oh yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, I remember. That. Three time Olympia from between us. Well, San Francisco to train with me. And, now I I, wow. I hear that a lot of people come from all over just to come train. With me. Yeah. Is that because of the variety of being in the Olympics? Hey, young man. <laughs> We're talking here. <laughs> I mean, is that what the, you being in the Olympics brought these people from all over the world? I guess. <laughs> no, you know, it's, I have a good reputation for success at all levels. So maybe you won't make it to the Olympics, but at least you will achieve your, your best. Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. No, because it, it's visible. We've yeah, seen different. a lot of the people here kind of grow up. We've seen them when they first come in. and you know, Some of these people are crazy, uh, crazy scary. Yeah, very I mean, strong. I, I've seen some of these, I'm like, you don't look, you don't think they could lift anything? Oh, They're like, no, right? Whoa. Right? Right? Whoa. <laughs> I would probably yank my arm off just trying to get the thing off the ground. Oh well, no, but it's... You're a big thing. Okay, okay. Big pulls or... Folks, as you can see, there's a lot of focus here with, uh, with Coach Schmidt here. So we're going to let him go back to his stuff. And, um, well, hey, thank you so much for allowing us to... Thank you. Know, to we, we know you're really busy. Bit, yeah. So we're going to walk around the gym. We'll see you later. All right. Yeah. So I'm here all day. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. But just That's one last thing about Jim. He really is that focus. His mind is constantly on his students. He's constantly tweaking the smallest things to make sure that they achieve their goals, that they reach their next level and the next weight that they're pulling. Because again, watching this man work is, is incredible every morning. And he's got a great sense of humor. Oh my God. <laughs> the Dead Sea was still sick. <laughs> I love that. All right, follow us. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> a little lower when you're broken. Come on, I'm talking about broken skills. Ladies first, and I get them right here. Um, hey guys.
guys, we're here with the owner of Physique Make Your Feet. This is Jim Wilson. Jim Wilson, which if you haven't seen this episode, you better. Yeah, it's a great uh, bodybuilding stories and stuff like that. Oh man, yeah, it's crazy stuff. How's it going, everyone? I top paid. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and under uh, under this hoodie uh, is mountains and mountains of muscle. Look at that. It, it even twitched, like he said. Oh, the hoodie, it started twitching. <laughs> <laughs> so, so let me ask you this, Jim. When, when people come in here for the very first time, what is right. your first advice to them? The first advice is if you're doing bodybuilding, number one is uh, don't go too heavy because uh, we're a bodybuilding gym for the most part and we're a family gym, family owned gym. So be comfortable when you come to the physique man your feet because it's a gym that uh, welcomes everyone. Yes, so, it does. Let me ask you this now that's a bodybuilding guy. What about these other people who just come in here to work out and, and try to stay fit or whatever else? Well, well, be comfortable because it is for health and it is for everyone for kids, for you know, uh, seniors, for people who are just uh, looking for health and food. So you don't have to be in the <laughs> no, no, absolutely okay, not. No, okay. no, it's for everyone, for anyone. You know, whatever you're trying to get into, whatever your goal is, just come on inside and let us, let us help you uh, find that. You know, find whatever you're interested in. So a lot of people do come in here not knowing what it is they want, then, and they just kind of fall into it. Is yes. that how it is? Yes, come inside and let's let's help you do that. You know, okay. let's sit down, let's talk about your goals, and let's uh, you know help you 